The first thing you'll notice is our awesome driver's seat. We had recovered in this vegan cow print. We keep it roped off with velvet ropes during events. I kept all original hardware and signage everywhere that we could, including the bus number and the cleanup kits. I added these rope lights for added lighting and a little ambiance. When I bought the bus, the seats had been removed, so we were able to start by ripping up the flooring, adding insulation, adding the laminate floors from the front to the back. We had an insulation and wood paneling on the sides, and we built those wheel cover boxes out of the same wood panel. We created our cash wrap using more of this fantastic vegan leather. This one is this teal croco print that I love. We have pipe racks on the left and the right hand side for hanging clothing. We created these racks ourselves with many trips to Home Depot. We fit them so that we could use existing screw holes. It was very important to me to not have a lot of additional drilling into the bus to maintain its integrity. We painted and installed them ourselves. That required a few minor adjustments. We also created shelving using the window jams and existing screws. We created a dressing room in the back. Here's our dressing room that can also double as a bathroom in the future. We created curtains, continued with the original signage. Here you'll see the paneling that we added along the walls throughout the entire bus. Added vintage furniture. More original number. We've only had to make one minor adjustment. This rack had to be replaced. It broke during travel. It needed a center support. Lesson learned on that one. It took about six months of many dedicated weekends to get the bus to where it was in this video. There have been very few minor adjustments made since then. It has been an adventure and one that I look forward to for many years to come. Can't change my mind Got too much on the line